Does LNT wants to pull out of Bengaluru suburban rail project? Delays and cost escalation explained. The Bengaluru Suburban Railway Project, BSRP, a long-anticipated infrastructure initiative, has faced considerable delays and controversies. A key contractor, Larson and Tubro, LNT, has encountered significant setbacks due to the lack of timely land handover, leading to financial disputes and operational challenges. This video examines the technical, contractual, and administrative aspects affecting the project and offers an in-depth analysis of the issues at hand. For those viewers who are interested in more information regarding the Bengaluru Suburban Rail Project and various other infrastructure projects of Bengaluru, please find links to various videos previously uploaded in this channel within the playlist available at the end of this video. Details for this video has been gathered from news reports of March 22, 2025 and March 19, 2025. My friend, welcome back to SciTech Buzz One channel. We wish to sincerely thank all the new subscribers of this channel. Background of the Bengaluru Suburban Rail Project, BSRP. The BSRP is a 15,767 rupees core project designed to improve urban transportation in Bengaluru. It consists of four corridors spanning 148.17 kilometers. Corridor 1. KSR Bengaluru City to Devanahalli, 41.4 kilometers. Corridor 2. Bayapanahalli to Chikabanavara, 25.01 kilometers. Corridor 3. Kangari to Whitefield, 35.52 kilometers. Corridor 4. Hilalich to Rajanyakant, 46.25 kilometers. K-Ride Rail Infrastructure Development Company, Karnataka Limited, a joint venture of the government of Karnataka and Indian Railways, is responsible for executing the project. The funding structure includes contributions from both the central and state governments, 20% each, and 60% from debt financing. LNT's contract and challenges faced. LNT was awarded the contract to develop Corridor 2 and Corridor 4. However, the non-handover of essential land and delays in utility shifting have severely impacted progress. Contractual Timeline and Delays A March 2022, Letter of Authorization Issued August 2022, Work Order Issued A December 2024, 27-month completion deadline expired A March 2025, LNT seeks relief from its contractual obligations and demands 500 rupees crore in compensation. Despite initial efforts, LNT has been unable to proceed with significant work, particularly on Corridor 2, due to land acquisition delays. While some progress has been made in Corridor 4, including bridge construction near Hilalage, Corridor 2 remains largely stalled. Land Acquisition Bottlenecks The major issue plaguing the project is the delayed acquisition of private and state-owned land. Corridor 2 requires 91.5 acres, 28.56 acres are private. Corridor 4 requires 160.56 acres, 40.29 acres are private. The delay in transferring private land, which runs along the length of the proposed railway tracks, prevents LNT from making meaningful progress. This has resulted in idle labor, stalled equipment, and financial losses for the company. Compensation Claims and Contractual Disputes LNT has formally requested to be relieved of its contractual obligations and seeks 500 rupees crore in compensation. The company cites losses due to stalled labor, idle machinery, and reputational damage as primary reasons for their claim. However, K-Ride officials argue that LNT cannot walk away from the project without due process. A technical committee comprising members from PWD and other agencies is currently reviewing the claim. Administrative and Leadership Concerns Lack of full-time leadership in K-Ride One of the key administrative hurdles is the absence of a full-time managing director, MD, at K-Ride. Since July 25, 2022, N. Munjula, a Karnataka government official, has been handling the role as an additional responsibility. Union Railway Minister Ashwini Vaishna has emphasized the need for a full-time MD with expertise in railway technology to ensure smoother project execution. Intergovernmental Coordination Issues The delay in land acquisition stems primarily from the Karnataka state government's slow progress. The central government has transferred railway land, but state authorities have not matched this pace. The center has repeatedly flagged this issue, attributing the project's sluggish progress to bureaucratic inefficiencies at the state level. Financial and Technical Implications Escalation in Project Cost Due to delays and changes in project scope, the estimated cost for Corridor 2 alone has risen by 300 rupees crore. Additional costs arise from Extended rental payments for equipment and labor 
The inclusion of a double-decker flyover along the C2 route, requiring further land acquisitions. Inflationary pressures on construction materials and logistics. Engineering and design challenges. Several engineering aspects complicate project execution. 1. Soil stability and geotechnical risks. Certain stretches of the project run through areas with poor soil stability, requiring specialized foundation engineering, soil reinforcement techniques, and advanced piling methods. 2. Structural considerations. Elevated sections and flyovers require deep pile foundations and seismic resilience, adding to construction time and cost. 3. Signaling and electrification. Modern CBTC communications-based train control systems are planned, demanding careful integration with existing railway infrastructure. Impact on urban transit in Bengaluru. The BSRP is a critical component of Bengaluru's urban mobility strategy. The delays hinder efforts to decongest the city's overburdened road and metro networks. If not addressed swiftly, the setback could reduce public confidence in large-scale urban infrastructure projects and impact future investments in transit systems. Comparative Analysis, BSRP vs. Other Urban Rail Projects in India Urban rail transit systems in India include metro networks, commuter rail, monorail, and trams. According to reports, India's metro systems collectively transported 2.63 billion passengers annually as of 2021, making it one of the busiest urban transit hubs globally. The Delhi Merit RRTS, which operates at an average speed of 100 km per hour, serves as a benchmark for efficiency in urban rail transport. Compared to other projects, BSRP's execution has been slow due to weak governance structures, poor interagency coordination, land acquisition roadblocks, possible resolutions and recommendations, expedited land acquisition and clear policy directives. The Karnataka state government must prioritize land acquisition by setting clear deadlines for private land transfers, fast-tracking negotiations with landowners and utilizing legal frameworks for compulsory acquisition can prevent further delays. Full-time leadership at K-Ride A full-time MD with expertise in railway operations should be appointed to streamline decision-making. Having a dedicated leader will ensure that project execution does not suffer due to administrative inefficiencies. Structured Compensation for LNT While LNT's request for 500 rupees core compensation needs evaluation, a structured reimbursement strategy, factoring in work done and delays beyond the contractor's control, should be implemented. A dispute resolution mechanism involving independent arbitrators can help resolve financial disagreements fairly. Enhanced State Central Coordination the center and Karnataka state government must collaborate effectively to prevent further disruptions. Joint review meetings, stricter accountability measures, and time-bound commitments for land transfer can improve project execution. Public-private partnerships and risk sharing. Introducing structured public-private partnership, PPP, models could help distribute risk more effectively. Adopting a hybrid annuity model, where payments are linked to project milestones, can mitigate financial uncertainties for contractors like LNT. Conclusion The Bengaluru Suburban Railway Project, envisioned as a game-changer for the city's transit landscape, faces serious obstacles due to land acquisition delays, administrative inefficiencies, and contractual disputes. LNT's demand for relief underscores the pressing need for better project governance and coordination. Addressing these challenges through decisive action on land transfer, leadership restructuring at K-Ride, and transparent contractual negotiations can ensure timely completion of this critical urban transport project. Stay tuned for further developments on these projects. Do let us know your thoughts on the subject in the comments section. Please share this video amongst your family members, friends and in your social media network. Don't forget to subscribe to SciTech Buzz 1 channel. Thank you.